Hello everybody, welcome to another warehouse update video. I'm Chris from the Great Brick Lab. We have been very busy as you can see behind me. This is the corner of what we call the south side of our warehouse. Uh, our warehouse, to give you a little bit more information about what we're doing down here, we have 6,000 square feet of warehouse. Uh, it's split into two sides. One side is 4,000 square feet, that's the south side and the other north side is a 2,000 square foot uh, section which we're actually going to put our picking uh, center in where we pick all of our parts. Now I'm on the south side and behind me the guys spend an entire day organizing all of our what we call our raw materials yard and you can't even really see all of it. If I come back over this way you can actually see down this row here you can see it goes even more and believe it or not they weren't able to finish today uh, we anticipated that they would finish this by schedule today but they told me that it took all day and they weren't able to get it all completed because we have more raw materials than we can even recognize just to give you an idea of how we kind of organize things we have been collecting what we call phase one sorted materials from sorters for example this is a box of all slopes our slopes category this would be a good example of what a slopes category looks like you can kind of see a variety of different things and different people interpret slopes different ways different catalogers do and these are going to be from multiple people collected over time but as we look at this you've got slopes and all of those there's another slopes down there then we move over here we've got miscellaneous i'm sure they know what miscellaneous, all categories all categories slopes more slopes uh, one by brick two by brick decorated pieces plates more decorated box tires and plants on top of here you got bubble mailers there was a sale on bubble mailers i bought enough to probably last us about a year and a half here we've got big brick which would be anything larger than a two by two brick lots of duplo got Looks like six containers of Duplo. I saw another one in the other area. These are plates. I do a pre-scan of anything that before it goes out to a cataloger and do, I pull out all the Duplo and all the plates. So we save a lot of weight categorizing or categorizing necessarily because it doesn't go to them. They don't need to do all that. It's just bigger parts. Then you start in on the sets. Now what I do when I'm also doing is uh, if something's partially put together, I will take it and I'll put it in these bags. Looks like there's some monorail on the bottom of this one. That's a monorail instruction booklet there. Uh, we do have enough monorail probably to make a couple of full monorail sets. These are difficult to get into and I'm getting cramped already. Then on this other wall over here, this other shelf wall, we have all these new boxes of stuff that we purchased. We're not primarily focused on new here mostly we focus on used it goes on for a long time and then everything on this table way over here this is what we call troll this is stuff that we've pulled from pre-sorts possibly done by a cataloger things i've identified as not lego or a poor quality lego that's all been pulled i can't tell you how happy i am about the progress that's been made here we still have a lot of room uh work in front of us uh, to get everything 100 percent completed but this is just amazing what they did today and all this organization here what i'm going to show you now is the doorway into the north side and as i enter into this doorway you're going to see you've seen this before if you've been watching our videos it's kind of been taken down apart a little bit this is quadrant number three two and this is one and i'm looking i'm facing number four right now this is quadrant number one right near the man door which is getting replaced in a couple of weeks paint on the walls is coming uh the week of july 4th that's kyle's office i believe on wednesday they're going to tape off and kind of structure how they want that all of these shelving units were down here in quadrants two and three but they do have things taped off so the way our pick path is going to work is this wall right here where the electrical is is where we'll charge our carts that'll have batteries based on them 
And then as they charge those carts, they will start this pipe here in the way. I don't know if we can get rid of it. Then they're going to go down this way and they'll have new in this whole section right here. So as you can see where the tape goes and then it ends right here at that tape and that's all the new section. I believe they said we'll have enough to double uh, the size of our new section. Then here it's going to go down to the furnace unit and then we'll come back down that wall right this way. You can see the tape pointing the arrows and then you come down this way. Somewhere at about halfway in this other turn right here. So as I make this second turn right here, about halfway through this would be the current size of our existing store. And then everything all the way down to the other wall will be new store. And then they've, they've got it blocked off right here with tape enough to get down to the next end of that next row, possibly the other side of that last row. And that will get us to about 2 million parts. I gotta say, I am nervous. There's a lot of details to work out. I don't get to be here every day. I still have my full-time job that I just came from and I came down to see how things were going down here. So I missed them today. I was working some hours in the office today. We're finally back in the office, which is great. Uh, we're getting a lot of collaborative work done in my office. However, I miss out on the work here. And this is where my heart is right now, but uh, I'm grateful for my career job. I really, really am. So I want to say thank you to Kyle and Steve for all the great work they're doing. Uh, if you guys put anything in the comments of things that you want me to update, I'll try and get that into the next video. Uh, this is Chris from The Great Brick Lab. I totally thank you for all the support. Uh, if you do like these videos, like, subscribe, and uh, like I said, give me some feedback. Give me some comments on what you guys want me to give you updates on, and I'll do everything I can to get there. Signing out.